to Sci-Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crank generator with using an old microwave motor, which produces AC voltage. By cranking this generator, you'll be able to control any device that uses AC power. Let's get started. So what I have right here is a bolt and some washers and a nut. And I'm going to tighten that, but not too tight so it stays loose and I'm going to be using a wrench, one of those uh, ring wrenches. I'm going to push the microwave motor head right there. I'm going to go and take some wire and wrap it around. And there you have it, my crank is made, and I can use that to wind the motor. So I'm going to go and measure the center of this board right here. Okay, so my center is right there, and I want to put my microwave motor right there and follow that line, which that's the center. So now I'm going to go and trace around it. There we go. I'm going to attempt to carve out that piece so I can be able to place the motor in its place. Okay, and there you have it. Now I have made the hole so I can be able to place the microwave motor in its place. Place it in just like that. Ha, ah, perfect fit. Now I'm going to go and drill some pilot holes so I can put in some screws to secure it in place. Now I have my screws, screw it into place, and there, now it's in there nice and tight. These screws are a little too long, so I'm going to use my Dremel and cut those screw bits off. And there, now you can crank the motor just like that. Now I'm going to go and take this triple plug outlet and I'm going to trace around that. So I'm going to place it right about there. I'm going to go and cut out some holes. Use my pocket knife to saw out the holes. And there we go, now I have the hole almost done. I'm gonna sandpaper it to make it look a little bit nicer and be able to shape it a little better. I'm going to use my sandpaper and shape it and I'm going to go and pound my plug outlet into place so it holds in tightly. There, perfect. Just fits. Now I'm going to go and add some supports to this. It's 
sandpaper to make it nice and flush. And there, now I have my supports in. Now I have my supports into place. Now this can be able to stand up and not fall over as I crank it. Perfect. Let's test it out. And it works very easily. Now I have my high voltage wire and I'm going to go and attach it to the microwave motor and then attach it to the plug outlet. Polarity doesn't matter because it's AC voltage. There we go. Now it is done. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Plug in this LED light and start cranking. Interesting. If you crank too fast, the voltage is too high. Crank too slow, it's not enough voltage. LED lights are very sensitive so they can pick up very little amount of voltage. But as you can see, the light doesn't stay on and it doesn't stay on very evenly. That's because trying to stabilize the rotation is very hard to have stabilized voltage. You almost have to have a perfect hand to be able to rotate it so perfectly to keep a stable voltage. This is actually a very impractical device. It works, sort of, but in my opinion, it's very impractical. So if you are planning on using this to charge your phone or to power any lights, well, I wouldn't count on it because it works, but it doesn't work as well as you would expect it to work. You may have seen other YouTube videos where you've seen people use these crank motors to power devices. Yeah, but they don't really work and it's not really recommended. So, this is an interesting experiment to try. So let's see what the actual voltage looks like as I crank it. Okay, as you can see, it goes from 50 to 60 AC, and it fluctuates way too much. It goes up to the peak voltage and then drops. If I go slowly, it slowly climbs up, and then it drops. Yeah, as you can see, the voltage is too irregular. It does not, it just does not stable. As you can see, the voltage is very unstable and you cannot stabilize it by doing this. It's very impractical and it doesn't really work as well as you would expect it. It's a great idea, but it's not that practical, unfortunately. So there may be a future video where either I keep this generator and I add some kind of a circuit to it to be able to stabilize the voltage, maybe. If not, then I'm gonna repurpose this and change it to do something entirely different. Not sure what, but I'll come up with something really clever. And there you have it, a crank generator made from a microwave motor. That kind of works and kind of doesn't, but it's up to you if you really wanna make this or not. So there you have it. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.